everyone, how are you doing? My name is Ryan Kelly, and I'm going to be hosting you in another episode of Know Your Bosses. Know Your Bosses, if you are not aware, is a show where I will review some of the most classic of bosses to the less known bosses. I will rank them based on their difficulty, creativity, appearance, and fighting style. And in the end, the boss will get a ranking from avoid the fight to pursue the fight. And there will be a ranking from 1 to 10 at the bottom. So now that I've quickly gone over the rules, we can talk about the boss we're going to be fighting today. We're actually going to be talking about a game that is not Nintendo. What? We're going to be talking about a non-Nintendo on Know Your Bosses? This is crazy talk. The game we're going to be talking about is Shadow of the Colossus. If you have not played this game, then go and play it because the experience from this game is godly. I just thought I should point that out. It is for sure one of the best PlayStation games I've ever played. Anyway, there are 16 bosses that you have to face, and don't worry, at some point we will have covered a good amount of the bosses from this game. So which boss are we going to be talking about for this one? We're going to be covering the second Colossus, Quadratus. Location. Shadow of the Colossus is a game that starts out with Wonder, the main character, traveling to a temple to see if he can bring his girlfriend back from the dead. He hears a voice from above saying that he could save his girlfriend if he murders 16 of the Colossi for him. Wonder agrees to this and goes off to the journey to slay 16 Colossi. Shadow of the Colossus is a game made of one huge overworld where you could explore and find many things. You travel the land by riding your horse Agro. Um, um, Agro. Oh, okay, I get it. The horse's name is Agro. Okay, anyway. You use your horse in order to reach each Colossi. Some Colossus require you to actually ride your horse in order to fight it, and others require that you hunt the Colossi on foot. Since the Colossus we're going to be talking about is an earlier Colossus in the game, the way to fight it won't be too complex. Quadratus is located north of the Shrine of Worship. The journey to it is the easiest and shortest in the game. It is located under the Great Bridge at the bottom of a giant canyon. Boss Information The name Quadratus means several roughly square or rectangular muscles. Since Quadratus was named after a muscle, that means that it is one of the strongest colossus, even though it is the second colossus. That would make sense since it resembles a bull and a mammoth. The voice from above describes Quadratus by saying, Thy next foe is in the seaside cave. It moves slowly. Rise thy courage to defeat it. Quadratus is the first four-legged colossus, and it is the first boss that you face when you can use ag to help kill it. Its height is at 98 feet tall, and its length is at 140 feet long, with the weight being 120 tons. With all of these facts, Quadratus is the second longest colossus after Barsarian and the tallest colossus when it stands on its hind legs. Quadratus has made an appearance as DLC in Little Big Planet in 2008. I was actually very surprised to see that he made some sort of appearance outside of Shadow of the Colossus. Another little interesting fact is if you do a significant amount of damage to Quadratus and Wanderer falls off, it might try to flee from you. Something weird about the fact that Quadratus flees is that he is the only Colossus to break a wall to come and find you, versus you sneaking up to the Colossus like you usually do. Strategy So you have traveled all the way to the second Colossus and you are ready to slay this beast in order to save your girlfriend. Wanderer is greeted by a beautiful cutscene of where the Colossus is hiding from him. Wanderer is almost to the cave 
when all of a sudden Lee Quadratus jumps out to find you. If it is your first time to play Shadow of the Colossus, then you might be confused on how to defeat this boss. Wanderer can't just run up to it and climb it like you could with the last Colossi. You have to watch how it moves and attacks to figure out its weak spot, or you could wait until the voice from above tells you the weak point. What you have to do in order to be able to climb the beast is for Wonder and Aggro to wait until the Quadratus raises one of its feet. You should be able to see the greenish white soles of its hooves. Use your arrow to shoot it once in the foot in order to make it fall. Usually people try to shoot the left hoof because if you're playing on a difficult mode, there's an extra weak point on him on the left side, which we will talk about in a couple of minutes. After it is falling, Wanderer has to run up to the leg that you shot and climb up it. Once Wonder is on, Quadratus will stand up and now you will be able to hit all of his weak points. Something I should mention to you is stamina. Wonder has a time limit for holding on to a Colossus. This is represented with a red circle that decreases in size the longer Wonder is holding on to the Colossus. If you run out of stamina, he will fall until he hits a flat surface. So make sure that you have a good idea of where your stamina is while fighting this boss. The next thing we need to cover is Quadratus' weak points. If you're playing Shadow of the Colossus in easy mode, or normal mode, then you'll have two weak points. And if you're playing difficulty mode, you will have three weak points. The two weak points will always be on top of Quadratus' head and the end of its back. The other weak point that you can only find in hard mode is on its left side. In easy mode, its two weak points each have 50% of its health in it, and on hard mode, Three weak points have 33.3 repeating percent of its health in it. I should also mention the only way that you can see where to stab it is if Wonder has his sword out. The best and fastest way to kill Quadratus is holding the stab button then releasing it in order to hit the weak point. Because the Colossus doesn't shake much as much as the other Colossus do. So with good timing and powerful blows to its weak points, the mighty Quadratus will fall. The player typically doesn't feel good about killing the Colossus. It feels as if you should never have killed it. But why does it feel like you shouldn't have killed it? It's a huge ugly beast and Wonder must kill them all in order to save his girlfriend. Well, I won't talk about why the player feels like that until a future video. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, after each Colossus you kill, your stamina gets bigger. Yeah, this is the way I decided to end the segment. Final thoughts. Quadratus is the first fight in Shadow of the Colossus that actually has strategy to it. So the way I'm going to base this pre-fight is with the cutscenes and the motive for killing the boss. So with that, I give Quadratus' pre-fight hype a 5 out of 5, because the way the game shows this boss is so beautiful, and the way that it makes it look like the boss doesn't want to battle. The game makes the fight seem like it's Wanderer just wanting his girlfriend back, and he'll do whatever it takes to make this a reality. Every single fight in this game has awesome gameplay, but the camera can be wonky at times. Because of this, the gameplay gets a 4 out of 5. Since this is an early boss in the game, they designed it not to be too hard, but not too easy either. They did add some real strategy to it. Because of this, the boss gets a 3 out of 5 in difficulty. The boss's fun factors obviously gets a 5 out of 5, because learning how to kill this colossus is always fun. Every single colossi you face has a different and creative way to kill it. Speaking of creativity, this boss gets a 3 out of 5 in creativity. All of this game is very creative, but because of that, certain bosses are more creative than others. I would say that this is one of the less creative bosses in the game, and that is really saying something, because I think this boss fight is pretty creative. So, if I was to use all of these points to round out the final score, I would say that this boss gets a rank of really fight it. This boss is actually my favorite boss from Shadow of the Colossus, and this boss was my reason for wanting to make this show. Actually, this whole game was the reason why I wanted to make this show, so I might be a little bit biased towards the bosses in this game. So, what do you think about this boss? Do you think this boss deserves a higher or lower ranking? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or not. Also, make sure to click the like button if you liked the video and hit that subscriber button. It would really be colossally great if you clicked the subscriber button. Oh my gosh. A Shadow Colossus pun. I, I couldn't resist. It's, just, it's too easy. Colossus, Colossile, Greatness, I, I, don't, I don't even know, man. It's, it's just too easy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan Kelly, and I will see you in the next episode of Know Your Bosses.